we are headed on a tour of the balcony house here at Mesa Verde National Park with a big group of other people. Not lots of narration on this one since we have a crowd with us. But that's okay. We're going to have a fantastic time and uh, enjoy some of the ladders and the exploration that we have to do on the tour. All human life. In Mesa Verde, where not a lake, river, or stream exists, the only viable water sources for human civilization to flourish come from inside of these alcoves. <coughs> Seep spring. Go right up the cave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be right behind you and right next to Rachel. You're almost there, doing great. <clears throat> There's a smudgy climber. You just ride like that, Smudgy. You're doing great. I'm right behind you, Smudge. He's got big handles, too. Tara, I'm right here. You can totally do this. Yeah, I know you can. I'm right behind you. Just like at the park, Smudgy. Show us you can do it, just like at the park. You can. You got some room. Do you want me to come behind you? Daddy's arms and daddy's arms are super strong, super strong. Daddy's arms are right behind you. And you cannot fall. You are safe. You are strong. You are Rachel. You're almost there, kiddo. Good girl. Carefully. I'm not taking my backpack off. You practicing, Kara? Perfect. We each get a turn. Patience, patience. I think it's only narrow for a short section and then it opens up again. Alright, Andrew's going in. It's going to be a little sore. I'm going to take this off. Here, Rachel, let me hand the bag through. Great job, Care Bear. We made that just so that you barely fit through. Maybe you'll get a go with me. Maybe you'll get a go with me. Alright. Ow, my knee hurts. I think mommy's gonna go right behind you. I'm pretty sure the reason our hips barely fit through that is because they made it so hips barely fit through that. I did not 
That's not an accident. It's like uh, it makes it easier to lop your head off. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, there's no way that's not defensive. All right, Andrew. More, more, more climbing, less talking. All right, Rachel. This one's shorter than the other one. It's actually linear too. Linear is not the right word, but I can't think of the right one right now. It's less steep. Not as pie. <laughs> Ladder a la mode. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm with you. You got it. I just want you to bump my hands with your knees. You got it, girl. This ain't nothing compared to the other one. It's less wide because there's not two, right? You're doing great, girl. Oh. No. A little bit more time for that. Oh. That is steep. What's that? That's a fairly serious. Carefully. I bet you the chief's name meant something like man who has good balance. <laughs> Alright, Rachel. I'll be close. A little bit. <laughs> you got it, girl. You got this. We know how to climb ladders. Hey, they're strong. They're not breaking. I'm sure, they keep a close eye on them. Probably not, probably not every year. But every, every time if they think there might even be a chance. Yeah, center my eyes too. You're good. Yeah, you're good. Nice. <laughs> hey, thanks for the tour. This is quite the view. Hey, kiddos. Knuckles in. One, two, three. <laughs> we are in Akiva. It's so Down cool in here. It is cool in here. We're in Akiva and exploring down here. This is one that they let you come inside of. It's been reconstructed with the roof. You can see the timbers and then if I can get the angle There's right light, there, you can see here. the you can see the mud that's been piled on top around the edges and then some stone. So you see the layer of mud right there and then some stone in order to um in order to build the, the room. Originally, they thought these were all for ceremonial purposes and the latest thinking we've been informed is that um, this is where they would stay in the winter because it was 7,000 feet and, uh, and it was cold and so they would basically spend most of their daytime area here and leave all the grain storage and everything else in the regular places and that way they could stay nice and warm here. With a fire on the floor in the middle, there's a, an air vent over here to the side to bring air in and in this deflector shield would spread that fresh air evenly around the room and they'd have the fire in front of it here. And we're going to ask the ranger what's the deal with the Mama, ladder and the fire because there's got to be some way to handle that. The roof that. used to be off and it was this huge big and it was out. this huge so good thing that we saw on the tool. You're right, this is the same thing. Only this one has a roof on it, huh? You know what else they did down here? They would do their weaving and they would make 
pottery. And they would, this is kind of like a common room. Can I go hang out in the winter room. It's hot. Hey. Hot, cold. Hey. <laughs> hey. Mommy, remember, remember in um, Harry Potter, the, um, each house has a common room? Mm -hmm. This is kind of. Kind of like it. A little bit. They probably well, slept down here too, though. Mama, you know that in my elementary school that we had a room we called the Kiva room? Mama, I'm gonna go up we did. We to called get the some fresh air, you fools. And it was then kind of a, it was a room down. that had like a bunch Just of like steps. Just like I was coming out. And then kind of like a, like a presentation area kind of a thing. So we'd come in and we'd all sit like on the, the stairs. And, and it was kind of stuck down into the ground. And it was just kind of like a meeting area. Hello, I need one. I need you to catch me. Okay, go. I made one in Minecraft once. It was like you were like one down, one block down in chairs. Mm. Sort of like a chair block. You could totally build the cliff dwellings in Minecraft. Oh. 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 Because oh, we need more easy. uses for Minecraft in our world. How can you can you dig inside the side of the cliff? Yeah. Yeah. You totally can. Dude, you could totally. You could you could, you could put you could put ladders up, Rachel, and then dig out and make yourself a, a, a cliff dwelling. Oh. It's about that time of the day to check off the Junior Ranger books. So we're going to go see how that process is going. It's not quite very good yet, so we're not. So you just know. Right. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah. And then you can do it. It's, it's so good how this has a lid. If, if you push one, it's a little bit. Then it can come out. All right, guys. I need everyone's hands to go up. And that would be the right one. Yeah. Here's two. Saves time. <laughs> okay. I'm proud to be. I'm proud to be. A Mesa Verde Junior Ranger. A Mesa Verde Junior Ranger. Junior Ranger. I promise. I promise. To take care of. To take care of. Mesa Verde. Mesa Verde. And all national parks. And all national parks. By not feeding the animals. By not feeding the animals. By not hurting the walls. By not hurting the walls. You can hurt the walls in your house. Paint your walls. Okay? <laughs> and... Five, what else do we got? That's enough. Oh, I promise to be respectful. I promise to be respectful to everybody. To everybody. see that's So we had ourselves a great day uh, exploring Junior Ranger Badged Up. We're all in jammies now, enjoying a family night treat. So we are Stop munching down on strawberries tonight. Sometimes we have to be a little inventive in our family night treats because, you know, like we're in the middle of nowhere. So we kind of have to magic something up out of whatever we have in the, whatever we have yep. in the cupboard. So it was strawberries tonight. And uh, and so we're munching down on strawberries. We had a fantastic day. I uh, loved exploring the park. What do you guys like the best? Um, mm. um, that my legs run out of energy. You liked it best that your legs run out of energy? Yeah. I like climbing up the first ladder. I, I like, I like going into the kiva and like, and um and walking to that that pueblo. I mean that cliff dwelling. Yeah, you like that a lot. Oh, I I like going down. I, I like going up all the ladders. The ladders are cool. Rachel did pretty awesome on the ladders today, too. Do you remember the thing that we, I had to quote We rocked you? a steep one together. It was pretty fun. Hey, do you know what? I th do, do you know the whole ladder I had to donkey crawl through? Yep, through the exit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked it. You, did, you did a great be, job. That used to be the only way in and out. It did used to be. <laughs> anyway, we had a fantastic day, and it's what bedtime. What else happened to so, Rachel? Oh. I lost a tooth. Oh, she did lose a tooth. Hang on. Open up. She lost a tooth. Again, open your jaw there so we can see all the blood and gore. There we go. So she, she pulled her tooth out today. And so the tooth fairy box is ready to go. This is our family tooth fairy box. It is a, uh, this is something I lathe turned. Um, and it is a little box container that we put teeth into to hide under their pillows. And so the tooth fairy box is ready to, uh, is ready to be hidden tonight. Sometimes the Tooth Fairy has trouble finding us and takes more than one night, but the Tooth Fairy box has always been the place she finds it and the place it comes through. So anyway, we're having a fantastic night and uh, really loved our stay here in Mesa Verde and uh, looking to move on to new adventures probably tomorrow.